Hey up, how we doing? Thanks for tuning in. If you've never been to a LAN party before, you have really not experienced what can only be described as either an absolute geek fest, an absolute frag fest, or an absolute delight. So a few weeks ago, uh, one of my good friends uh, told me about his brother-in-law organising a LAN party and he asked me if I was interested. I of course initially thought, oh, am I really such an obvious geek? Yes I am. So I said yes. I said I will go to your brother-in-law's LAN party. And I did. See, with me being a Yorkshireman, I don't like parting with cash. But I do like having lots of fun. So let's have a look at what I took with me. Firstly, and most importantly, I took this laptop. So this is a HP um, something or other. It's got a long-winded series of letters and numbers in the description, but essentially what it is is a HP laptop with a Core i5-6200U processor in there. There's no additional graphics grunt. It is literally just the Intel HD graphics, which is fine for some very basic LAN party games. So let's see what else I took with me. I took this, which is a budget gaming keyboard, which is manufactured by NPET, which I'd never heard of, but it is an excellent keyboard with some fantastic mechanical keys, or, well, I don't think they are actually mechanical, but they're good. It's got anti-ghosting, and it got me quite a few frags on the day. And next we have this, which is the Easy SMX gaming mouse. Uh, lots of buttons on this, so we've got one, two, three, four on the left hand side. We've got the usual left and right mouse buttons, the middle scroll wheel. And I've got two buttons here to adjust up or down the DPI. But the, uh, the real secret sauce with this is underneath, you can take the bottom off and adjust the, uh, the weight distribution of the gaming mouse, which is very handy. I will put a link to a, another video where I actually review that mouse um, in the description below. And of course, going to a LAN party, you're not really supposed to have your sound on. You need a headset. So again, this is an easy SMX product. And I have got a video which has a review of that headset in it. And it is great. The kit that I took was dirt cheap. This laptop, which I'll just move into the shop, you can pick up uh, an equivalent for around uh, between 150 and 200 pounds on eBay. Obviously pre-owned, but you'll still get the same performance out of the processor as long as it's not broken. Okay, so first up we have Unreal Tournament 2004. Is it really 15 years old, this game? It really is. As you can see, performance on the inbuilt GPU is really good. There is admittedly nobody in this game at the moment. However, it still runs really, really well. Next up we have CSGO, which I am playing against bots, but you can kind of get the idea about how, uh, how well it runs. And I've put it on harmless bots to make it look like I'm really good. But I'm not, I'm not this good when I'm playing competitively. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. So yeah, as you can see, perfectly, perfectly smooth gameplay on such a cheap rig. Whoops! Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, the original and classic. So again, as you can see, fairly old title now, but it looks pretty special on here. And it's running at an acceptable frame rate to be able to uh, get yourself some frags. Uh, I admittedly, again, I'm playing offline here just to demo how well it runs. So there's no one to kill. So I'll just chuck a grenade here and kill myself. Our next, we have a bit of Halo, which doesn't quite run as well as I'd hoped. 
mean, it's quite an unoptimized game, unfortunately, despite it being a Microsoft title and running on DirectX. You would have thought it'd be a little bit better, but no, it's a bit, a bit jumpy, but it's still playable. Um, there are some other graphical settings I could I could reduce down, but for the time being, this is how I have got it set, and it appears to be working reasonably well. And now we have Splody, which is of course the Bomberman clone. Uh, so LAN parties, you don't just play FPS games; uh, you can play other entertaining titles as well, such as this. Great fun, especially when there's a lot of you. As you'd expect on a 2D tile like this, plays exceptionally well on this setup. And, oh dear. And last but not least, we have Day of Infamy. And again, it runs at an acceptable frame rate to be able to frag. The opportunity to try and demo uh, a laptop that has been quite literally sat in my cupboard for about 12 months was really quite a uh, pleasant opportunity. I personally don't think there's enough LAN parties going on uh, across the UK, certainly. Uh, it might be different where you live, or might be different in your area that's not Yorkshire, but we, we definitely need more LAN parties. Online multiplayer is good, but not as exciting, not as enjoyable as a LAN party. So if you're having one in Yorkshire, let me know, get me involved, I'll bring my cheap laptop, I'll bring my cheap gaming gear, if you can class it as that. Uh, and I will turn up and you will be able to severely beat me at most of the games because I'm quite rubbish. I know we see a lot of chatter on social media and in forums about the PC Master Race, but it doesn't actually have to be like that. You can actually get a console-like experience for a similar price to what a console actually costs. If you are still hesitating to get involved in playing PC games, then just get yourself a cheap laptop or a cheap desktop and a monitor and just start getting stuck in. It's such a great community and if you're ever thinking about having your own LAN party, then just do it. Never been a better time. Um, LAN parties are becoming quite a bit more popular than they used to be. So guys, let me know in the comments below, have you recently been to a LAN party? If you have, let me know how it went. Did you enjoy it? Was it a bit of a nightmare to try and get all the games up and running? Or did it run completely smoothly like the party that I've just been to? I'm now gonna go and practice um, because next time I go to a LAN party, I don't just wanna be bottom of the table in every game like I pretty much was. I wanna get good and you should do too. Get yourself playing some of these first person shooters. They're fantastic. Myself being in my mid thirties, a uh, LAN party is very much appealing to me. Gets me the bit of escapism from the daily grind of work and stuff. Uh, but it, it's also, it's, it's good from a, a social point of view. From having the in-game chat to lunchtime activities. In this case, we, we played Street Fighter 2 on the SNES. I got to the semi-finals, I didn't win. Uh, mainly because I wasn't dalsim. Reet, I'm off for my cup of Yorkshire tea. I'll see you next time.